And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. 2015 is definitely the year of the pirate, and here's another one called Greedy Pilots. I like how this says fully analog. I guess that's so you don't get confused and accidentally think it's a computer game. Um, this is a Yahtzee-style game in which you're going to roll dice to get combinations to get coins like this. This game is to get the most money at the end of the game. Everyone starts with one of them. On your turn, you're going to take these six dice and roll them. There's various symbols on them. You can roll the dice up to three times, except each of these skull and crossbones you roll cannot be re-rolled. So I would have to re-roll. I could say, oh, I'm going to re-roll these two dice and keep these three or whatever, but I can't re-roll this one unless I pay a coin. I, for each coin I pay, I can re-roll one of my skull dice. Now, when you roll coins at the end of your turn, when you're done, when you've taken your final roll, each coin is going to give you a coin from the middle of the table. Now, everything else, though, needs to be rolled in sets. So if I roll three or more rum bottles, I get the rum bottle token, and from now on, I can these don't affect me, and I can re-roll them. If I do roll, if I don't have the rum bottle, and I roll three or more crossbones, then for each skull and crossbones that I rolled, I lose a coin to the middle. If I roll three or more swords, for each sword I've rolled, I can steal a coin from another player. If I roll three or more ship icons, I get the ship token. And from now on, until someone steals this from me, uh, nobody can steal coins from me. And if I roll three treasure maps, I get to re-roll the treasure dice which have different symbols on them. They have coins on them, but they also have bags on them, which are worth three coins, and a treasure chest, which is worth five. So I could get really lucky and get 10 coins from a treasure roll. And in fact, if I roll the uh, six treasure maps, I could roll these dice twice. So this is how the game is gonna play. You're gonna keep going until one person has gotten 25 coins, or until all the coins from the middle are gone, and then whoever has the most coins is the winner. There's also, there's also an advanced variant where you can put some special abilities in the middle of the table. These are things that, these are like, uh, you know, if you have one of these, you can do something different. For example, this guy gets a gold coin when another player rolls three or more skull and crossbones. This person gets an extra re-roll. This person, if they roll like a straight, they get six gold coins. This person gets the bottle of rum when they roll only two of the rum bottles. And the way that these work is you're going to put seven of these in the middle, or five of these in the middle of the table. Um, when you're playing this game and when anybody gets seven or more coins at the end of the turn They get to pick one of them and then everyone else gets a card and then the rest of the cards are gone And so basically everyone will have these special abilities that they're able to use once one player has seven or more coins Now you can see that greedy pirates is essentially a Yahtzee variant um, with not very good artwork um, the dice and the coins Okay, the, the coins are meant to look old, although you can't tell from looking, but they have this, they're plastic, they look like they've been dry brushed black, they just don't look that, they don't feel good. I guess they look okay, but they don't feel good, and it's really hard to tell the five coins apart from the ones. I mean, they're different in size, but they, they just look like a pile of blood in the middle of the table. The dice are those wooden dice, which again, are, oh, look how cool and clever, but they're not that fun to roll because they're light, I don't know, the, the components for this game are okay. The gameplay itself is pretty basic. I mean, you roll, and oh, I rolled three skull and crossbones. There's nothing you can do. And so it's a, on a very light level, I think people are going to enjoy it. But there are so many of these Yahtzee-style games where you get to roll and re-roll dice. There's a lot of them out there. And I don't know that this one does anything. And it also can go on interminably long. I roll dice. Oh, I got some coins. I roll dice. You stole the coins from me. I roll dice. Fine. This turn, I'll take the pirate ship. Fine. But you don't get any coins then, so I'll just take some coins. Oh, really? Okay, my turn. I took some coins. On oh, my turn, I steal the pirate ship from you. And it just goes on and on and on, especially when you play with a lot of players. And the treasure maps are so powerful. I mean, they are light years better than everything else because I can roll and I can get... I mean, getting 10 doesn't happen all the time. It's like rolling double sixes. But getting 8 or 6 can happen quite often. And that just seems, you know, unbalanced for the person who gets that. 
The rum is really good because you can re-roll the other ones, but the ship, it stops other people from stealing from you. Well, okay, but you got nothing yourself. So stopping someone from stealing you by taking nothing is just not worth it. The special cards add a little bit of fun to the game. You know, the first they give it a little bit of flavor and they give you a special power, but I don't think they're enough to save this game. This game isn't bad. It's just very, very mediocre. And in today's gaming world, that's just not good enough. There's not, I mean, the pirate theme is fun and all, but there's a lot of pirate games out there. So unfortunately, even though this has some interesting um, thoughts, I don't think there's anything to differentiate it from other dice games like this. I actually would probably rather just play straight up Yahtzee because there's more decisions. Here, the decisions are pretty obvious. What did I roll the most of? Well, that's what I'm going to go for. Should I go for treasure maps? Well, duh. And I don't want a game that has a, well, obviously you should do this type thing. Um, there's, there's no push your luck. There's not, it's just rolling dice and kind of seeing what happens. Dice shower judgment. Okay. But nothing new. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boo! Boo!